Hey everybody, this is Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the hive here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. It's Thursday night and you know what we have tonight is a celebration celebration. <laughs> we went from launching the celebration catalog to having the celebration hoorah rah party to now having the celebration celebration which is the event that we do to thank everybody for helping out during celebration so i'm gonna find oh here it is i'm live yay who's all with me so far oh i gotta make sure i get my right internet <laughs> so i'm not freezing i was just in the house grabbing a quick bite to eat and i was still on the house internet and i know i will freeze if I'm trying to watch myself with the house internet. There it is. Okay, just needed to do that and life is good. So we already have six people. Hi, Mary Ellen. Hi, Sandy. And there's Jean and Sherry Martin. Woohoo! Sandy Wicklander. Thanks for sharing. You girls are awesome. I really appreciate when you share me with your friends and family. <laughs> Hopefully they enjoy me, me as much as you do. So fun stuff. Hi, Janet. So tonight what we're going to do is we're gonna make the little black book. And <laughs> I had this event last night and I was teasing all the ladies. Hi Mo, hi Susan. I was teasing all the ladies that they can start writing numbers down in the little black book. Hi Deanne, hi Gloria, hi Brenda Wood. And they all laughed like, they're like, that ship has long sailed. <laughs> hi Deb Norman. So yeah, so your little black book, if you got uh, one of these kits, uh, you guys will be able to put photographs in it. You'll be able to scrapbook it. You'll be able to make it however you want it to and gift it or keep it for yourself. Um, yeah, Janet, it's okay if you can't stay the whole time. You can always catch the rest of the live in a replay format whenever you have the option or ability to come back to it. So, hi, Patricia Saddle. Hi, Penny Powell. Woohoo! I got the cards today. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sue from North, Northern Michigan. And then Deanne's Western Michigan. I think we got Michigan covered, woo <laughs> So, So we're gonna make the little black book. But you guys, I wanna show you some cards too, just to kind of prep you. It's the beginning of October. It's the seventh. Do you guys know what today is? It's Kelly's birthday. Happy birthday to Kelly. Happy birthday to Kelly. Happy birthday, dear Kelly. I don't sing the greatest, but happy birthday to you today. <laughs> so, hi, Danny Olson. So, Kelly turns 30 today, and she was in awe by all of the cards that were sent to her. So, thank you to everybody who sent her a birthday card. And she said that she loves receiving uh, cards from the, so the stragglers because she's a straggler card sender herself. Usually when she gets it out, it's after the birthday. Hi, Susie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Anna. So if you guys still want to send Kelly a birthday card, just let me know. You got to reach out to me. Send me an email. Send me a Facebook message or text me. Ask me her for her, ask me for her address and I'll send it to you. So, all right. So, Julie is in rainy Chicago. Yeah, so we had a rainy day here as well today. It was raining when I went to work, and it was drizzling when I came back, and it was drizzling on my lunch hour. <laughs> so, we definitely got the drizzle all day today here as well. I hope it's done for a little while, and we have a nice weekend. We're supposed to have 80 degrees here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, which is crazy, unheard of. Usually, it has been warm like it's like we haven't left our summer yet it's crazy hi Hilda Nell hi Jeannie Terwilliger so I want to go over some classes with you guys as people are rolling in and getting here tonight I want to share with you some of the uh, upcoming classes I have because we have a jam-packed card making October for you guys we started off October with the MS benefit and hi Gwen Prechasek Petrashek uh, we started off with the MS benefit on Saturday you guys we raised $1,240, woohoo! I'm so excited. Um, we raised about, it was $490 from the raffle. I threw in $10 because somebody placed an order that day. And then we had like $715 for the cards. And then Gwen decided to have hers, um, her kits added and put the $5 to shipping to, to it as well. And then 
Yeah. So it ended up, it, it was awesome. You guys, $1,240, I think was the ending total. I think I posted $1,220, but I think when I did all the math, it might've been $1,240. So it's somewhere between $1,220 and $1,240. Um, I haven't written the check to the MS Foundation yet, but that's going to be happening tomorrow. So yes. Hi, Tammy Steckling. So you guys are awesome. And I wanted to call out who the winners are because you guys, it was about $500 on the raffles. And I went live with Bonnie on Saturday morning and Bonnie listed off all of the raffle baskets and we had such a nice return out of people who are not even from the area that donated and got their names in to get some baskets and you guys I had three remote people win I'm so excited for you guys so I thought what I might do is just read through all the names of all the winners because I do have a lot of local people that watch me live too but I um for basket one was my cards and a private card class with me and because so many people put tickets in for that one I decided to do two so Kay Warren and Feline Mays both of your tickets were drawn um your numbers were drawn for winning basket one so yay Ann Miller won basket two Becky Wagner was number three Chris Dudarenki four Joyce Korianek five Bonnie L'Esperance, six. Jill Butzine, seven. Diane Bogenhagen was eight. Jean Maxwell, you won the Norwex um, basket. You guys, that's so exciting. Jean's um, not from, she's not local, so that was so exciting that, you know, both Kay, Feline, and Jean both won, or all three won. Terry Lackey, basket 10, and there were two of them, so Kathy Wilsnick also won. Mary Bowman, 11. Wendy Kruger, 12. Carl Real, 13. Chris Dudarenki, 14. And Cheryl Taylor, 15. So you guys, I had that all listed in my newsletter. I haven't sent out a separate email on it, but it was in the newsletter. So some of you guys read the newsletter and you saw that. So that's exciting. So um, congratulations to all of those lucky winners. Yay. Hi, Kathy King. Hi, Lynn Beasley. Hi, Joan Joanna. Hi, Carmen. <laughs> you guys are all sneaking in while I'm reading papers. Hi, Andrea from New Zealand. Woohoo! Okay, so that's a little bit about the MS benefit. So that's we started off on Saturday, which was World Card Making Day. You guys, it was 36 cards times 36 sets of kits times five cards. That's how many cards we made as a group on Saturday here in the hive. Yay, awesome sauce. So, um, so that was really cool uh, how we started off. And um, what I have coming up for you guys. Hi, Linda Hodge. Okay, so tonight is the celebration celebration. This is a um, an event that uh, anybody can watch me do um, the games and the prizes and watch me make the little black book. And then the people that can win though are those people who were personally invited and also received the card kits in the mail. And I'll do roll call in a little bit so those people know that they um, they are the ones that should be responding um, when we're playing lucky numbers. I have 21 people that are um, part of this event tonight. And so I have numbers from everybody. But while I'm on here, before I do roll call, if Barb Barco or Naomi Worrell or Kathy Groves or Shauna Burns or Lynn Beasley are watching, if the five of you have your lucky numbers and you can type them in the comments, I'll add you to playing for the games. Either I missed them or you didn't give them to me. <laughs> Somehow along the way, they got missed. And I just want to call that out. So in case you guys are watching tonight, so it was Barb, Naomi, Shauna, Lynn, and Kathy. If you guys want to play along with us for the I have four games of lucky numbers that we're going to play. So I have four prizes. Um, you guys are welcome to, but you have to get me your numbers ahead of time. So Tammy, you got me your, yeah. So Tammy, I have your numbers. So so I'll go through roll call in a little bit, but I want to flip the camera down and show you guys what's coming up Who for the month of October. You guys, I got the fun folds done um, Monday night. I don't even know what today's Thursday. I got them done Monday or Tuesday night. So, so I can show them to you. I just haven't had a chance to embellish them yet. The best part of making a card, <laughs> like waking up, is embellishments on your card. And I've been slacking because my, my four cards don't have embellishments. So I'll be working on that. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Carol. So I'm going to flip down, you guys, and we're going to roll through just to show you guys what's coming up for October. You can always get to my website, cardsbychrisb.com. Go to the events calendar, and I have pictures of everything for October except for the fun folds. I haven't photographed them yet. So you guys are getting to be the first ones to see them tonight. So oh, 
where do we start? Okay, so I'm gonna roll through these kind of fast because right after the live tonight, I plan to do a separate video showcasing all these cards so you guys can hear the specifics and the details about is it a fee-based class or a minimum order, all that good stuff. Hi, Bonnie Kelly. Okay, and I'll try to go in order of the class. Thanks for sharing, Bonnie. Okay, so let me flip down here. Um, so tonight we're doing the little black book. So you guys, I'll show you how to make this, this little book. You guys, I'm a card person. So to do a little 3D project with you is not um, unknown or foreign. It is foreign. I don't do it a lot, but <laughs> we're doing it tonight. Um, so that's tonight. And then um, the 14th is next week, Thursday. You guys, we're going to be doing, hi, Kathy Jackson from Iola. I hope you made it home safe and sound last night. We're, this is the monthly class for the month of October. So we're going to do a Halloween, a fall card, or Thanksgiving card, and then a Christmas card. So that's next week, Thursday. Okay. You guys, I'll give you all the specific details in the next video that I do right after I finish the live tonight. This one is um, October 17th. This is called Let's Just Stamp. I'm doing this online with you guys on a Sunday afternoon. Um, Diane Bogenhagen's teaching the in-person class on the 19th. Um, the other one too is uh, in person as well. So this features the Nature's Harvest stamp set. So that's Let's Just Stamp. That's coming up October 17th. You guys, these are the Halloween, the cutest Halloween cards from October 21st is the online. I'm doing them in person that week as well. He's a little adorable, the little gray cat up in there. My mom liked that one a lot. And then this one's the Hey Boo. I tried to do purple. I tried to do all different colors. So I got the Flirty Flamingo going with this one. And then we've got the old olive going with this one, some spooky ghosts. So that's cutest Halloween. So all of these classes you guys can still sign up for. They're all open right now. Halloween bingo, I've capped. Hi, Pam. Oh, Lynn Beasley, you gave me your numbers. Hang on, let me make sure I get these. I don't wanna, I don't look at my little chicken scratch here. Six, 12, 14. You may have given those to me somewhere and I could have very easily just missed writing them down, but I got them, thank you so much. Uh, Halloween bingo, you guys, I cased this one from Marissa Alvarez, and I cased this one from Carissa Albert. <laughs> Say that three times fast. But these are my in-person only bingo cards. You guys, I have a full house, so I don't have anybody that can, but I just wanted to share with you what we're doing in person. It says spooky on there. So that's Halloween bingo. And then I have a hol holiday card buffet in person. So if you guys are local, on the 16th of October, I have a couple spots in the morning and plenty of spots in the afternoon. It's, um, you can make up to six cards. You have to pre-order what you wanna do and to, this will help you get started on your Christmas cards. This one definitely, you could put Merry Christmas in here or Season's Greetings. This one I think is my favorite. If I had to guess my mom's favorite too, she loves trees. This one could make easily into a Thanksgiving card. I have this one stamped as a wedding card, but I had it in mind for a hall, um, Thanksgiving. Deb Norman, case your card on this one, definitely. That's the snowman wonder. And then here's my bird nest card, <laughs> my cardinal in a bird nest. All right, so you guys, again, this is in person only. So if you're local to me and you wanna come up for a class or down for a class or over for a class, you can still sign up for that one. Now, <clears throat> you guys, mystery night is... I think the 18th, and Kelly has the card designed. Woohoo! I think she finished it yesterday, and I'm not flipping it over, but this is what either the back, you know, this is the back. So just know that clue number one is coming hopefully by tomorrow for mystery night. Okay, so that's coming up. Now, what you um, have been waiting for is you want to see the fun folds. All right, you guys, this is what I got for fun folds. So Diane Bogenhagen made a card very similar to this for the summer creative escape you guys and you guys liked it a lot and we've done a like a side cut card before but this is a bridge card so this attaches these two pieces together and then it flips like that and so definitely got another christmas card lined up here for you i gotta put some little sequins on the tree toppers this was a card i cased from candy michael and hers had a penguin on it but you guys you pull these little tabs and it opens up and it uses the sweet little stockings. And so it's a little bit of a fun fold. Hi, Heather Brenner. So that's one of them. I got to embellish it yet. Okay. Then this one is our bay window or bow window. You guys, we've been loving that. And I mentioned I was going to do that. I got to put some brushed metallic 
um, gems on it, but it opens up like that. And voila, there we go. Very easy card, uh, but it's so cool. So this is more of a fall card. And then last, but certainly not least, is our pinwheel card, you guys. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting for fun folds to do this card with you. And I still have to embellish it. Remember I said I have to embellish all these cards. But this one definitely is a Christmas card. And you guys, we're going to make this one. So this class is October 28th, okay? So and you just keep going around and around in a circle. I bet a lot of you have made this pinwheel card. It's been around now for at least six months. And so if you've made a pinwheel card, give me the thumbs up or give me some hearts because I know that some of you have done this card already. And I was waiting for fun folds to pull it together to make it into a cool Christmas card. This, I think, is one of my favorite layers right here. I also love this tree layer. Oh my gosh, you guys, that one's fun too. I pulled in some of the red and green foil. So that's Fun Folds, October 28th, you guys. So I don't want to keep going into the classes that are coming up because I'm going to do a separate video on that right after we finish the live today. All right, I just got kicked out. Whoa, now I'm watching Kelly. Hang on. We got to get back in here. Totally kicked me out of here. So I know what happens to you guys. You just, I, oh, look at all the hearts. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I just got kicked out. I wonder if you guys all got kicked out too. And <laughs> then you got to go back in. Okay. So I got some cards in the mail. You guys, I always love to share my happy mail. This one came from Marlene, and she wrote a little love note in here. If you guys recognize this, this was from the May monthly card class that she did with me. And I got my one of my cards back. I love it. Okay, this one came from Kathy King. She wrote in here a little love note for me too. Kathy, I got your beautiful card. Thank you so much. I love it. This one came from, oh my gosh, Kathy. Um... I'm going to butcher your last name, but it's Shroken Taylor. <laughs> I think I need to have you say it out loud for me. Kathy got a bow maker from me, you guys. And so she sent me this lovely card as a thank you. All right. And then this one is from Sharon Perales. Well, you guys check this out. I don't know if you, oh yeah. You can see how glittery that is. So it's really weird. It's like this, it's not a Stampin' Up! paper, so I know that, but it's um, it's got all these glitters, but it's coated with like a plastic, so it's really smooth, and it does not flake off all the glitters. So, yay! Hi, Ruth Nicholson. And then this one came from Melanie Foy. Yep, awesome. So this was a paper pumpkin from years past, and she sent this one to me. I love it. Okay, and last but certainly not least, you guys, if you've been watching my lives recently, you know that Penny and I have been communicating <laughs> via the lives regarding some cards that she made for me. So she sent me this beautiful little card or this little dude here up in a sunflower. And um, so Penny, I get to reuse your card, but look what she made. We're swapping cards. So now I get to put some cards back in this box. This is called a card swap. <laughs> Penny made me a couple, and so I'm gonna make her a couple. But I'm a Mario fanatic. If you guys don't know that, I grew up with Mario Brothers. And so one of these, oh my gosh, one of these is a birthday card for Tom, my brother, and the other one's for Tyler, my boyfriend. And this one's for Tyler. Oh my goodness, I, it says I love you. Oh my gosh, Penny, they're adorable. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. She put a little flower and a mushroom on here, and I bet you then this one, and then she left the inside so I can stamp it and then adhere it in the inside. Oh my gosh, Penny, I love these cards. You amaze me. This is so awesome, you guys. And this one says, Happy Birthday. Oh, and it's got Mario, and it says, Oh my gosh. Great job, Penny. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 you guys. I gotta show you this. Look, look, look. Boom! Oh my goodness. Holy Moses. I didn't even open that up on the other one. <laughs> I knew it was like that though. Look at this, you guys. Penny, you do phenomenal work. Oh my gosh. I love every element of these cards. They are awesome. So thank you so much, Penny. And now the now it's on me to repay the debt for these beautiful cards. So <laughs> 
I will be sending something off to you or m multiple things off to you. <laughs> so they're lovely. I'm going to like, I don't, yes, I'm going to hang on to them until it's time. My brother's birthday is not till June, so I can look at this for a while. <laughs> so she did a phenomenal job. I love it. Okay. There's one more class that I forgot to share with you guys, and I know that because it's sitting right here. <laughs> so I um, have all of this information. I just published it this past, like on Tuesday or Wednesday. It's the Gingerbread and More product-based class. And you guys, if you're on my team, there is a Be Happy Stampers team price of $15, but you have to have the four things and um, that are used in the class. Oh, you're very welcome, Penny. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> and um, hi, Susie. And if you want me to take care of buying the products for you, it's $50 plus shipping, which is like about $9 because of the holiday season now, they've increased shipping prices, guys. So I had to adjust my shipping slightly. But I'm gonna be doing this live in November, you guys. But just know, um, this gingerbread and more, this pack is on back order right now. It's turned off, but it's supposed to be off this week. And as soon as I can get it, I will get it ordered. But just so you know, you get 18 cards with this class. Um, it'll include the gingerbread note cards and envelopes, the memories and more pack. I'll add any extra bases like this is an extra base. The cider is an extra base. And then it includes the wonderful gems a roll, the red ruffled ribbon, and then I add in the white baker's twine. So all these will help you get a jump start on your Christmas card making. This is one of my favorites. Look at this, I love it. That's part of that, that pack, that memories and more pack. So you guys, this is set for, if I pull the calendar here, it's set for in person on the 5th of November and on the 14th is the online version. So you guys can go to my website and go to the calendar of events and find all the details for this class on there. And you get matching envelopes to go with it, these craft envelopes. So just wanted to throw that out there too for you guys so that you know that's coming up. And did you guys see Kelly's Technique Thursday? Hi, Chris Dudranke. Oh my gosh, you guys, this was sitting here waiting for me. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. She did the baby wipe technique. She loves doing that every year. She, like the changing of the colors of the leaves inspire her and you can do that so cool or so easily with the baby wipe technique. So if you missed, it's baby wipe or like these cotton elf, whatever these things are. I Everything in my book that looks like this is a uh, baby wipe, <laughs> even if it's like just a flushable wipe. <laughs> so you guys, if you miss this technique Thursday, go ahead and uh, watch the video. She just published it today. Okay, so... Just to recap what we got, you guys, it's the first Thursday of the month. Isn't that crazy? It's already the seventh, but it's the first Thursday of the month. So we're going to play a couple games with those people that um, are part of the celebration event. We're going to make the little black book. We'll play a couple more games, and then we're going to do drawings, you guys, drawings. <laughs> we're going to do the top fan drawing, the monthly creative challenge drawing, the class card challenge drawing. We're going to announce who the winner of the newsletter drawing is from last month and the Be Happy Stampers team challenge from last, the second half of September. So you guys, we got so much to do. So hi, Randy, joining late from Southwest Michigan. Better late than never. We just started. So yeah, Sandy, I really like Kelly's car too. It's so awesome. It's so pretty. So pretty. Like I always say, I love it when she leaves her cards here because then it's like happy card mail and it's like right here. Hi, Kay. Um, all right. So you guys, I want to also announce this, that we accomplished my goal of um, joining, having bees join the Be Happy Stampers, you guys. So last celebration, which was January and February, we had 14 new bees. So new people join the Be Happy Stampers. And my goal was to meet that or exceed that by even one. And hi, Luann Johnson. And we did it. We had four, 15 newbies join the Be Happy Stampers between August 3rd and September 30th. Um, eight of them personally with me and then seven of them were on my team. Um, that joined somebody that was my first level. So then they became my, like, that's called the second level. So I'm like, 
their grandma, I guess you can say, because like Deb is um, mother and then Susie's daughter. So I'm grandma. That's how, this is our joke. So hi, Jean. Oh, there's Jean Maxwell. Yes, I know. Isn't that exciting? 15. So I always want to tell you guys, you're always welcome to join my team of stampers um, to sign up as a discount shopper or to run it as a business, however you want to do it. I'm here to help you. And even if there's not a promotion or like a special going on to sign up, just signing up in general to get the starter kit is always the best deal in the catalog. So yeah, so you guys just know that um, you're always welcome to join my team. Hi, Latokia. Yes, welcome to all the newbies, Dev says. I love it. Hi, Sue. Okay, so you guys, we're going to get the party started. And we're going to start off by doing roll call. Are you guys ready? All right, we have 21 that are that have earned the spot from like an online version that they couldn't be in person last night or they couldn't be in person on Sunday and they signed up for tonight. Mm -hmm. And I will go through the names and I have numbers now for everybody except for a few people. So if they still give me their numbers, um, I will write them down. And Naughty Nancy's messaging me. I don't know what it said. <laughs> it is squint, though, and I still couldn't read it fast enough. Okay, so we have Brenda Wood, Leslie McMinn, Mo Stites, Sandy Wicklander, Deanna Stell, Stacey Burns, Barb Barkow, Jeannie Parker, Naomi Orl, Carmen Melendez, Shauna Burns, Deb Norman, Susie Stocks, Judy Bobo, Lynn Beasley, Janet Wright, Jeannie Terwilliger, Kathy Groves, <laughs> now Nancy's messaging me again. <laughs> Tammy Steckling, Susan Reed, and Ann Bellinger. So congratulations to all you guys. Um, there were uh, different ways that you could earn a spot at this event. It was through supporting me in various ways. Uh, and not everybody's putting their here. Yay! Um, Judy, I've got your numbers, but hopefully you guys make sure you have your numbers. I don't want to spend a lot of time repeating people's numbers, so go look for them. <laughs> We're going to start playing games here really soon. Oh, I got to grab my numbers here. Um, let's see. There's a whole bunch of little guys here. So, um, so you could either support me through um, sales or joining the team and putting your first order in, or if you were already on the team prior to celebration and you had two new team members that join your team. So we have a plethora. Everybody from all the different areas of earning are with us tonight. So that's so exciting. Oh, Brenda, hopefully you have Jeannie's uh, numbers because she's probably at a sporting event. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. So I am, what we're gonna do is play lucky numbers. So I, if anybody has questions, shout out right now to make sure that um, I can cover over. Okay, go get your numbers, Stacy. So I can go over lucky numbers, but what happens is as everybody gave me their lucky numbers and um, five lucky numbers between one and 25, and I have 25 numbers in front of me that I'm just laying out to make sure I have all 25, not that I'm missing one. So um, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start calling numbers and as you have numbers, so only those people that I listed can participate by like writing the word stamp. If you wanna play along at home and you didn't earn a spot, you can still play along. Pick your five lucky numbers between one and 25. You just can't write S, T, A, M, or P in the comments while we're playing, okay? So as I call your number, so let's say I call number two and you have two, you can type S. And then if I call the next number and it's a five and you have it, you type S, T. And once I've called all five of your numbers, you have should have spelled stamp. I'll confirm your numbers with you and hi Donna, and then you'll win a prize. And so I have four prizes that we're gonna give. Um, I have five to choose from, so the last person still gets to pick a prize, even though they're like, it's not like they get the last thing. <laughs> so you guys, I have some few, a few celebration items here. And so I'm gonna flip down here. So you guys see I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 24, and five. So I've got all my 25 numbers here. So they're here, I didn't lose any in the interim, but I have some extra celebration gifts. So I know you probably like need more celebration stuff, like you need a hole in the head, but <laughs> you can always share it with a friend who doesn't have it, or you know, there's um, any ways to get rid of it. And maybe you don't even have this stuff yet, but I have a delicate dahlias, or dahlias. I have a counting sheep here, and I have the sheep dies. Yes, we're gonna split them up. <laughs> and then I've got my favorite DSP was the penguin paper. I absolutely love the dazzling paper as well. So these are the five prizes I have and they'll have four people that win. 
Um, yee, so some of you need some. Um, but my internet is kind of sketchy, cutting in and out. So if you think I'm not paying attention, really I am. Okay, that sounds good, Sandy. If, okay, so how we're going to do it is if, like Sandy just mentioned, her internet is sketchy. And that happens, you guys. I completely get that. And I don't want anybody to feel stressed at all. This is not supposed to be stressful. We're supposed to be playing games and having fun, right? For fun. <laughs> so like, let's say Sandy's internet is sketchy and I'm calling the numbers. Hopefully what's going to happen is you guys can type the STMP. I don't have Kelly here helping me tonight. I have all your numbers written, so I can't like really pay attention until like it gets close. If somebody's like at STAM, I can look at their numbers and, and kind of check. So Sandy, I'll try to help you, but if you guys can just try to keep playing along and getting as much as you can for your numbers written in, that would be awesome. So um, if you, if we know that you won and you can't get back to me with what prize you'd pick, I'll pick something for you, okay? So no worries there. Um, but what we'll do is whoever the first two winners are, you know, the first person will get to pick and then the second, and then we'll just have everybody pick their prizes as we go. So does that sound fair? Hi, Kathy back. So are you guys ready? Give me some thumbs ups and give me some hearts. If you guys are ready, we're going to go ahead and play two games. We'll make our little black book. We'll play a couple more games and then we're going to announce who some winners are. How does that sound? So I, um, I had to make sure I had all my numbers. Oh, I got a thumbs up. Good. So somebody's ready. <laughs> somebody's ready to play. So you guys, celebration was really awesome. Um, it's, it's crazy doing two celebrations in a year. So it was January, February, and then August, September. And it just, it's like, we're celebrating all year long. <laughs> so, so you guys were su very supportive and phenomenal. I'm so excited to see where I stand in the company. I've had so much love and support this last year going to, into the online world. And I have all of you guys to thank for that. So I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You guys, you keep me going every day. <laughs> you push me to do better and make more cards and offer more classes because it seems that people really enjoy the creativity together. So I try to foster a lot of togetherness with us. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna flip the camera down and we're gonna start. All right, guys and girls. All right, first number, under the B column. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, we're not playing bingo, but it is a number five. We are doing Nuts About Squirrels. Number five is the first number, oh, you guys. Oh man, this is hard. I don't have Kelly here to help me with this. So I'm wondering, so you guys don't have to look at all my chicken scratch. I'm going to try to keep everybody's names. I don't know, like that. And I don't have to block that in case anybody wants to see that. <laughs> so that's a number five guys. But Jeannie Terwilliger has got an S. All right. So we're going to do these two numbers next because they both flipped over. Gorgeous Leaves is number 18, and Tammy's got an S. Thanks for sharing, Janet. I appreciate it. And then we've got number eight, Snow Wonder. Snow Wonder, number 18, number eight. And we've got a couple people with the S. And, oh, I love this. Oh, my gosh, this card right here is so pretty. <laughs> you can't see the whole thing, but it's cased. Um, there's that Halloween card that... Carissa cased. You guys can see it kind of here. She cased it and just changed it up a little bit. So very cool card. Okay. This one is number 13, Welcoming Woods. Hi, Leslie. Okay. Number 13. Oh, and I don't even have you guys in alphabetical order here. This is going to, we're going to, we're going to be patient. <laughs> so, um, Leslie's got ST, Deanne's got ST. Oh my gosh, Deanne, we're gonna see if you're as lucky as you were the last time for game night. Um, number 15, Frosted Gingerbread. Number 15, Deb Norman's got an S. Jeannie's got ST, we got lots of STs. Okay, good. Judy Bobo's got a T. <laughs> time out. Do you have ST or just T? <laughs> All right, Sandy's got ST. All right, Nature's Harvest is 12 and a hair there 12 nature's harvest is a number 12 judy bobo's got st you're up here okay you guys <laughs> i should have typed these out and put this into a spreadsheet carmen's got st so if anybody's having a hard time um 
listening and playing and having internet just give me I know Sandy you said it so we can always check yours um but if anybody else is let me know uh, number nine sweets and treats is next number nine there's a lot of threes I think that people picked I see lots of threes <laughs> so all right the next number that was not that number though. Oh, get this guys. My favorite number here is number two. We've got number two. It's because of a childhood cat that that number has played an influential role in my life. Judy's got S-T-A. Awesome. Judy. Yep. You've got the three going on. Oh, Sandy does too. That's awesome. Okay. Number four is the next one, Sparkle of the Season. Number four, see if anybody's got a little bit closer with that. I see lots of ST, oh, STA for Sandy too again. So, he <laughs> gets good. Deb Norman's got ST. Okay, next number here is, oh, Mo, you're not skunked. Yay, woohoo. All right, Mary Snowflakes is number 19. Number 19, Judy Bobo's got S-T-A-M. Wow. Okay. You're waiting on one number. Holy Moses. Deanne's got S-T-A. Okay. So I think Judy Bobo is in the lead right now. Next number. Oh, Judy, it's not your number, but it's really close. <laughs> number 21. All right, Janet's got ST. Okay, the next number was 21. Got that one. Okay. Not many people pick that number. I feel like Jeannie Terwilliger, you're the only one I... Oh, and then Anne's got it too. Yep, I was waiting for yours to come through, Jeannie. <laughs> And you should have a number as well on that one. All right, the next number is 10. Number 10. Okay, Carmen Melendez, you have that one, I see. So number 10 is next. Jeannie Parker's got that one too. So we just got a couple people with the 10. I don't think we got a winner yet though, so we'll keep going here. Number seven, sweet little stockings. The little cutie cat right there. So number seven is the next number. Carmen's got the STA. That's right, okay. So we just did number seven, sweet little stockings. You guys, you must not like the number seven. Brenda Wood, you do. <laughs> Deb Norman, you do. <laughs> okay. Mo's got ST, woohoo! Let's do this one. Okay, you guys, here's number 20, the classic cloach stamp set. Number 20. I know that a bunch of you have the 20. Deanne does. Carmen does. Judy Bobo, you might have it right here. Let's see if you've got stamp. Um, let's see here. Yes, she does. That was it. So, Judy, I know you have your numbers are 4, 9, 13, 18, and 20. That's a good lucky numbers. Woo, Deanne and Carmen, you are hot on her tail. You guys both were one number away from it. So, oh my gosh. So very close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I, I realized that number 20 is a hot number for you guys. <laughs> so Judy, what you got to do is when you have a moment is just tell me, do you want the penguin paper? If you get the penguin paper, Judy, though, I'm going to cut it down to six by 12. So it fits better for mailing or even six by six. But the sheep dyes are available. The delicate dahlias uh the light is not good so we're gonna flip down we got delicate dahlias counting sheep and then sheep dies and then the penguin paper so but if you do the penguin paper 
I will most likely cut it down to six by six so that it fits better in a package. Uh, it costs like 12 bucks or 10 bucks to mail that DSP. Crazy. So, all right, clear your cards. I should say clear your, your numbers. You guys will start on over and we'll watch for Judy. So here's the deal to you guys. You know how I love to share the love with prizes. So what I'm gonna do is that I want four unique people to win tonight. So Judy Bobo, just to keep playing, because um, I don't want you to feel like you're being excluded now. What I did last night is um, uh, I had a set number of prizes last night too, and I wanted to make sure that um, not like two people or one person got multiple, like three prizes. So what I do is if Judy happens to get stamp again, <laughs> um, oh, you got the Dahlia, perfect. Um, if, if, if Judy happens to get um, lucky numbers again, then we'll keep track. And whoever has the most second wins will win something else. <laughs> That's what we usually do in person. So, all right. So Judy took the delicate dahlias. So I've got your name on that right now. You guys, I don't have my fabulous assistant Kelly here helping me. <laughs> so, all right. You guys flip back down and we're going to play again. And we're looking for another winner, winner chicken dinner. So let's mix these all up really good. And... We'll see who else can get some love in the prize area. Let's take this top number. All right, you guys. Number 25, Christmas to remember. Woohoo! I know that Carmen's got that one. So, Carmen, you better show me an S. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is. Oh, yeah, Susie Stocks. You have, an, uh, you have it, too. Hi, Anne. Better late, but you're here. Yay. You didn't win, I don't think, on the last one. So, um, maybe. I don't know anymore. Hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't remember if six was called, but I, I think 18 and 21. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> we already got a winner. So yes, Susie and Carmen, you're our 25. So Anne, hopefully you have your numbers handy. If you need them, I can just read them off to you really quick. Um, but so far, everybody did really good about having their numbers handy. I love it. You guys, Nature's Harvest number 12 is the next one. So, I know Susie, you got that one too. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, you better show me the ST, Susie. <laughs> All right, let's go with this little guy. Ooh, number 11. Frightfully cute. Number 11 is the next number uh, on the wheel here. Lynn's got an S. Woohoo. Stacy's got S. Good job. There's my ST from Susie. Okay, let's do this guy. Next, number 24, you guys. Beauty of Tomorrow. Did you like? Oh, that's another thing that we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to give away these four cards that were from the class last week, Monday. So, beauty, hopefully I don't forget. <laughs> that was Beauty of Tomorrow, number 24. Okay, so Tammy, you should be on the board now with an S. I see that. Oh, Susie, STA, I just looked at yours. I saw a 24 there. <laughs> All right, good job, yay. Okay, number 16. This one's Stars Are Shining, number 16. I don't know who's got the 16. Oh, Jeannie Turwilliger, I see a 16 next to your name, so you must have that one. Oh, Jeannie Parker's got a 16 as well, I think. Oh, she must have had the last number. <laughs> All right. Stacy Burns. Wow, you've got three of them already. You're on a roll. Okay, this one's next. Mary Snowflakes, number 19. You guys, this is my featured bundle class in December, which will be here before we know it. Number 19. Janet, you should have that one. I'm looking over here. I see a 19 for Janet. I don't know if anybody else has the 19. Okay. Let's mix these up. Let's do that guy right there. Ooh, our peaceful deer set, number 22. Number 22, Leslie McMinn. I see you have that one too. You've got the 2-2. Two, two. Oh, there's Janet's S came through. Deb Norman, I see you with a 22. 
Lynn Beasley, you should have a 22 as well. So we've got some people with the 22. Tammy Steckling, I saw that you have it too. There you go. We got some S's rolling in here. <laughs> All right, STs, STs as well. Okay. The next one is going to be number seven. Sweet Little Stockings. Number seven. Sweet Little Stockings. Janet, you should have another one with that one. Deb Norman, you should have another one as well. Brenda Wood, Mo should have one. Yeah, lots of, lots of sevens. Okay, I'll keep shuffling these around as you guys are replying. Very nice. Let's do that guy right there. Ooh, Frosted Gingerbread. We had that one last time too. Number 15 is the Frosted Gingerbread. I know Carmen's got that. Carmen, I knew your numbers off the top of my head because they were so easy. <laughs> you went with all the fives. <laughs> so, so I know you have the 15. I don't know how many others there were that chose 15. Not many people went with that number. Susan, you must have had that one though. Susan, yes, you did. You had number 15. Nice. Very, very nice. So we've got, yeah, Mo, yay, us finally. I love it. <laughs> You're not skunked. <laughs> okay, so I don't think we have anybody that has it yet. So we're going to do that one. <laughs> number 17, you guys, whimsical trees. Oh my goodness. This is my ink, paper, scissors, you guys. I have 22 people signed up for this class already. I have a set number. I'm planning for 36. So I don't, I, like, that's not, not a crazy amount left. That's over half filled. <laughs> so, and I really haven't just shared this class, I think, with you guys. So number 17 is the next number. Oh, Brenda Wood, you should have that one. Jeannie Parker has that one. I don't know who else does. Okay. <laughs> so Judy Bobo went from all to none so far. So you guys, that's going to show you that we're getting some new blood in here, I hope. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Nuts about squirrels. Number five. Number five. I know that Carmen has that one. Carmen has the five. Jeannie Turwilliger, let's see if you got the five you should. Brenda Wood. Brenda Wood has a five. She's getting close, you guys. Carmen had the five. Tammy has a five as well. Okay. I don't think anybody has it yet. We've got STA. Brenda's got STAM. So... Yappers, let's see here. Let's do, let's see. That one. Oh man, he's new. Cutest Halloween, number 23. Susan Reed, I see a 23 next to your name. Susan, I see that next to your name. Who else? Oh, Sandy Wicklander, you got the 23. Okay. I don't know how many other, I think that might be it. So Brenda's still got S-T-A-M. <laughs> All right, so we're getting close though. You up, Susan, I saw that you had it too. Okay, let's do this one here. Yay, Sandy's got an S, woohoo! <laughs> we have here number 18, guys. It's Gorgeous Leaves. Gorgeous Leaves. Hi, Patty Stebbins. Number 18, you guys, Gorgeous Leaves. Number 18, uh, it's not Brenda's number. Oh, Leslie McMinn, I see an 18 next to you. Sandy, hi, Ann. Sandy's on the board with two numbers now. That's awesome. Judy Bobo, woo you got the S. <laughs> Lynn Beasley's got STA. Deanne has that one. Good deal. Okay, Susan's got STA coming from behind. Woohoo! okay. Okay, I don't think anybody got the stamp yet, though, so... Go for, they like to flip away from me. All right, you guys, Arctic Bears, number one, number one. Oh, man, I see a Mo, I see a number one next to Mo's name. Hi, Melanie Foy. I see a number one next to Melanie's name. 
Not many numbers left here, guys. <laughs> Let's see. I'm, I don't think anybody got it. I'm trying to look at the numbers. Oh, Susie, you got a one. I'm trying to watch your numbers with you guys. Huh. Mo, you got the ST. Woohoo. Oh my gosh, Susie, you have STAM. So you're tied, I see, with, with Brenda. That's the number here. All right. Penguin Place stamp set is number six, you guys. Number six. Mo, you have a six. Janet, you have a six. Anne, you have a six. Let's see who else. Oh, Susan, you have an, uh, a six. Okay. So we've got like four. Oh, Lynn Beasley, you've got STAM too. Okay. You guys, it's coming down. So, Patty, this was a special um, event for uh, people who earned a spot at my celebration celebration. So, you guys, I think we have like five people that have the STAM. So, it's getting close. Okay, so we're going to go with this one. See what he is. Number 21, Christmas season. Christmas season. <laughs> uh, Ann Ballinger, you have a 21. Jeannie Terwilliger has a 21. Lisa Opperman, hello. A 21 was last number called. I don't know if we have a winner on that number. I'm pretty sure we don't. Okay, we've got some more STAs. Okay, you guys, I think we're ready. I, I think only a couple people had that one. All right, here it is. Number 10, do we have a winner on number 10? <laughs> we've caught... If we have multiple winners, we'll just have extra, we'll have the people pick prizes right away. So number 10, I know that's Carmen, Jeannie Parker. Mm. We might not have it with that. Number 10 is the next number. I don't know if we'll have it with that. I'm, I know Anne's, so Carmen, Carmen had a 10. Jeannie Parker has 10. And I'm just spot checking these really quick. Carmen, yes, you guys are all so close. Oh my goodness. All right, here it is. Number nine, our sweets and treats. I'm pretty sure that I see somebody that's got the number nine that would give them lucky numbers. Number nine. So let's see here. I know Brenda has a nine. Janet Wright. You have a nine. Susan Reed. Okay, so we've got Susan and Brenda. Okay, so let me write down both of your names and we'll just double check. You're a winner all the time, Patty. <laughs> so Brenda and Susan. Oh, I'm going to do a separate slip so we can give you guys prizes. So let's see here. And Susan. Yep, okay, so Brenda says she had stamp. Brenda has a five, a seven, the nine, 11, and 17. Oh my gosh, and Janet did too. <laughs> you guys, wow, all you guys. So Susan was a, so Susan, Susan Reed, I'm not sure. Susan, you put stamp on here. But Susan, let's confirm your numbers because I don't show you have a three. I have I show you have a three, which is not here. But you have the six, a nine, 15, and a 23. So Susan, I don't show you having a three out here. So I'm thinking, Susan, you're it's not a good lucky numbers. Janet, we'll check you really quick here. So Janet was a six, a nine, seven, 19, and 22. So Susan, please confirm that you're okay with that because I don't, I have your numbers are three, six, nine, 15, and 23. If I wrote that down incorrectly, you better tell me really quick. Um, nope, you wrote, you're sorry. Good. Okay. Sorry. Not good that you're sorry. I'm, that's fine that it happened. I just want to make sure that I'm not cheating you out of a prize. So, okay. So we have Brenda Wood and Janet Wright are both winners. 
I honestly can't remember who was, who said it first. <laughs> it's so long ago already in the comments. So, and my comments might not show at the exact same time. So, um, let's have, so there's two penguin papers. There's the counting sheep dies and there's the counting sheep stamp set. So Janet and Brenda both comment what you want. If you guys end up picking the same thing, we'll figure it out as a group. <laughs> so, all right. So, oh, Brenda was first. Okay. So if that's good, then Brenda, tell me what you want. And Janet, tell me what you want. If you guys want the same thing and it's the penguin paper, we can make it happen. And otherwise Brenda will go first. So, all right. While you guys figure that out, we're going to start getting our stuff ready to do our little black book. <laughs> Oh, I like calling it that. It's not full of guys' phone numbers. I promise, guys. My little black book is pretty much empty right now. <laughs> so, all right. So let's grab the things that we need to work on this little project and show you what you guys have in your little kits. Oh, Brenda wants the paper. Okay. So, Brenda, the thing is with the paper is I will probably cut it down so that it's a smaller size so it fits in a, a flat rate pad, padded envelope okay so you hopefully you're okay with that you probably are and that means that um janet do you want the sheep no do you want the sheep dies or do you want the sheep stamps so you just have to confirm with me which sheep it is that you want <laughs> okay so so for the 21 people you guys I mailed out your kits either between Saturday and Sunday, not Saturday and Sunday, Friday and Saturday. And in there was a little gift from me. Uh, actually, Kelly's mom, Karen, helped me out and she made them. Um, oh, six by six is good. Perfect. Thanks, Brenda. That's awesome. Uh, so you guys, they're the little pillow. You know what? I should go grab them so that you guys, I'll put this down so you guys can start to look at what we're going to be making here. I got to go grab the sheep stamps. You got it. No problem. Okay, so I got that for Janet. Okay, very nice. All right, so this is what Kelly's mom, Karen, helped me put together. I got to roll up the sleeves for this. So did you wonder? Oh, yours came today. Awesome, Stacy. Yeah, I mailed them between Friday and Saturday. So what happened was I didn't have enough of these little pillow boxes to mail everything out Friday. So I got the rest of them Friday night. And then um, I literally brought bought a bag of the <laughs> today. And then you laugh when you open the gift. Yes. So these are these little pillow boxes that they're the dies in the holiday mini catalog. And they've got the caramels in the inside. I love that white filling. <laughs> and then like by the time I'm done with that, then I got to eat the rest of the caramel <laughs> or I sometimes I even do spit it out. But um, I love caramel, you guys. I don't, I'm not a big chocolate fan, um, but the, the caramels are, I love caramel. So these little pillow boxes make adorable, cute little gifts. If you're looking for something for somebody, this dye comes from it. And then the little flowers are from the flower punch that's in the annual catalog. So thank you to everybody for your support. Hopefully your chocolate was, or your little caramels. We went with something that wouldn't melt. It has been super hot here recently. And so when you have those little like packages and then they have chocolate in them, you guys, they melt. It's stuff in there melts so bad. Oh, they're cow, like cow tails. Yes. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this little black book. I saw this. I was on the Hawaii. You guys, I have some sad news for you. I do have sad news for you. I'm going to share it with you guys right away. Um, so they canceled the incentive trip next year. So, and it just popped in my head because I saw this little black book on the Hawaii incentive trip. Oh, you're very welcome everybody for the little treatsies. Um, so on the Hawaii incentive trip, they had a swap there and that's where I got the idea for this little book. And they just announced on Monday to us that they are canceling the incentive trip, which is a cruise to um, the Caribbean. And it's all good. Like they had to make a decision and it, they can't make everybody happy. And so it's just how it is. Um, we will get a compensation of some amount that maybe we could go on, a, like Tyler and I can go on a trip or I was going to take my mom um, as well. And my brother Tom was going to go, but we'll figure something else out. But um, 
it was the journey along the way. It wasn't just about earning a trip. It was about the, the year of adventure in card making and crafting with you guys. So, but it's sad. I know it's a little sad that we're, we're not going to go, but <laughs> it's all good. It all happens. My mom always says everything happens for a reason. So yes. Oh, hi, Marsha. So, okay, let's flip back down. So that was my sad news I had to share with you guys, but it's okay. All's good. Um, oh, Patty said she just salted caramel. So they are good. <laughs> I know I love caramel. Okay. So this little black book, I was inspired on the Hawaii incentive trip. And I redesigned it slightly because hers was about four and a half inches um, versus um, I made mine four and a quarter. So the reason I made mine four and a quarter is because you could get two bases out of one sheet, okay? And then the pages on the inside are three and a half by, what, they're four by seven. So on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you also get... You basically get three pages out of one. So so that was another cool thing about how I scaled mine down slightly. And so everybody, the 21 people and plus everybody in person that, that earned this event, you'll have the PDF tutorial. It was sent to you. Um, it has measurements in case you want to make more. And I've got some extra pictures here. Um, my disclaimer is that I gave you guys the paper, the DSP, all the same size. And I'll tell you why I did that. Carmen mentioned that she made it and it was, it's already put together and done. Um, but I just want to call out that I did give everybody three by four pieces of designer paper because the size on the outside is three by four, but on the inside, it is not three by four. Because if I would have cut them the two for the inside, that was me picking your insides. And I didn't want to have to pick your insides, <laughs> right? So I just left them all at three by four. And you guys will have to cut off a quarter inch on the two pieces that you put on the inside, okay? So just be cognizant of that the designer paper um, should actually be sh shorter here, okay? So all the measurements and pictures are in this PDF tutorial. Like you always, anybody who does a class with me gets that PDF tutorial um, as part of a gift. And then the stamp set that I used on here was enjoy the moment. And I picked that because for me, it could be for anything. Like it could be a little scrapbook with pictures. Like if I go on a little trip with somebody, I could put a few pictures in here and gave it to them. You guys, it could be a brag book for your grandkids. You could scrapbook it, do whatever you want with it. But I thought enjoy the moment fit really nicely there. So honestly, you guys, there's only one thing that gets stamped. <laughs> so um, for right now. So you guys should have your base. You should have three sheets. You should have three pieces of designer paper. You should have a band. And I just looked at this and I'm like, this isn't cut right. I got to cut mine up. I got to cut off like a little bit. Okay. <laughs> you should have six pages that are the same size. So six of these. Um, so everybody, you, you notice here that this book is pink. Some of you got Coastal Cabana and some of you got Highland Heather. So it was random. So you got a color, a really bright, cheerful color. So there's six that are the same size here. Hi, Marsha. And then you have two that are a little bit bigger and therefore your inside cover. So just be aware that there's eight, but then these two are slightly bigger. Okay. So, so you've got this. Hi, Kathy Miller. Okay, then you guys should also have a circle that's colored to match your kit, a white circle, two of these little banners, and then you should have two buttons, and then you should have about six inches of black baker's twine. Now, these buttons come from All Dressed Up, and the this comes from the, what is it called? The sweet, what, the, da, da, da. The tasteful dies. These are the tasteful dies. And then this is the all wrapped up dies. So that's where those come from. And I think I probably even mentioned tasteful label dies, warm wrap dies. Yep, that's where they come from. Okay. So let's put this little this little black book together. So you guys, I've got this all scored for you for your pieces. So you have four and a quarter, and it's actually by ten and a half. And the scoring starts here at where does it start at? It starts at three and three quarters inch, and then it goes every half inch. So you flip like this, 
And then I go, you go back and forth. So I did this little black book for the Summer Creative Escape, and I also did it at the team meeting this last week, Sunday. So some people have done this book a few times with me. So you're going to fold it back and forth like this so that I keep saying, I kept saying last night, it looks like a bat flying, right? Caca, caca. <laughs> okay, so you have a, like the, the accordion back and forth. And what you're going to do is you're going to burnish that with your bone folder, okay? What I would do to burnish this is I would make sure, let's see if I even scored that right. <laughs> you want to make sure your corners, oh yeah, your corners line up good, okay? So I'm going to make sure those line up good and those line up good. And I'm going to kind of finesse this with my fingers and burnish like that, okay? So give it the nice crisp edge. Okay, so that's the first step. Now you have this piece that is like your binding for your book. And I completely think I missed cutting off part of this section. It should be seven and seven eighths. So let's grab the little trimmer and trim off. We use the arm because it goes out past that amount. So I'm pretty sure we need to be at seven inside. Yeah. So I forgot to cut it off. It's at eight and a half. It needs to be at seven and seven eighths like that. Okay, that should help big time. <laughs> okay, so now you have your binding, and what you want to do is, um, there's two scores here. It's three-eighths inch in the middle, so you're going to fold on the score lines. Is this weird watching me make something other than a card, you guys? <laughs> I feel like I haven't made anything other than a card with you guys in a very long time. Okay, so you've got your binding here, and what needs to happen is that should fit right on there very nicely. What that's going to help or allow this book to do is not to be tight in the middle here. You want to be able to add your pages. So what I would do first, I'm a liquid glue girl, so I'm going to put some liquid glue in one section of this. I'm not going to put any adhesive in this middle score line section. So there's three eighths inch here. You only want it to be in this section. You don't want it to risk going over. And when I put this on here, I'm gonna make sure that I'm flush to the black edge here and that I'm centered left to right. If you go up one way or down the other way, it's just gonna be a little bit more black showing. And I wanna make sure that I'm nice and smooth here so that I'm right up to the edge, okay? So you're gonna glue that, and then you're going to make sure it's nice and secure. You can open this up, and you're gonna put glue now on the other side. Again, do not put any adhesive in that, that section between the score lines. And then you're gonna fold this up, and you're gonna maneuver this so that this side is now flush over here and kind of centered left to right. As long as you put that one side on pretty straight, this side should be good. You wanna just make sure you're not over the edge of the black and you're not on like this side of the black because otherwise you'll have, you'll see that, that difference. Okay, so, so far you've got your binding on here and you've got this middle section here, okay? All right, so now you guys have these pages that are four inches by seven, and they're scored at three and a half, okay? So you can take these. I feel like there is <laughs> something on my desk here that's leaving that white. What did Kelly make here last? <laughs> huh. That last card that she made, I wonder if that has something to do with what I'm getting on this paper. <laughs> okay, so hi, Elaine Rebeck. So you're going to take this, you're going to fold these in half, and these are going to become your pages for your book, and they're going to get basically attached on to these little mountains. So let's just set those aside for right now, and we're gonna glue. We're gonna do a little bit of gluing. So you guys have your colored cardstock. You have the two pieces here that were just a hair longer, right? Two pieces that are longer. 
those two pieces are what go on the inside here. Don't worry about the inside panel. You won't really see that. What you are most concerned about is having that eighth inch around each side. Now, <laughs> we joked about this in class the other day that the side of the paper, hi Nanette, the side of the paper is the same, but don't you instantly just go <laughs> and flip it over and glue the other side versus just gluing <laughs> the side? I, oh, I don't know what it is about flipping it over, but we do that. So this is gonna go on this side that. So try to get that eighth inch margin all the way around. And then this one goes right there. Yes, Diane did a great job helping you last night. It helped me to allow me to cut paper that I forgot to cut. I love it. Diane was a great teacher last night. So then you guys, this is where you have your three pieces of designer paper. All three of your pages are the same size. I gave everybody three by four so that you could figure out what you wanted to do on the inside. Um, just know that you have to cut a quarter inch off because these have a solid purple or pink or blue matting all the way around them. So you either got, so this designer paper, you've got polka dots, you got the leaves, you got squiggly lines with flowers, or you got the, there's different ones like, um, here, let me show you. Hang on. So this paper, the black and white paper, was a celebration item that you could earn with a $50 purchase. So you got squiggles with flowers. You've got flowers with these stripies. Or you got polka dots with those leavies. All right. And... Here's different books that I hear. So here's the Coastal Cabana. And then here's the Highland Heather. And then there was Melon Mambo. So I kept it with fun, cheerful colors with the black. And then you could mix and match however you wanted. So look, I got all these little black books. <laughs> you can mix and match however you want. So just know that the inside designer paper is three by three and three quarters. And we can go ahead and glue these in. The teal, yeah. So the teal is Coastal Cabana. Um, it does pop, it's so cool. So it's like a, a soft blue, bluey green, okay? All right, so then this guy will go in here. So I decided to do polka dots on this one right here. And then on my outside is this one. So we can go ahead and glue that on here. So Stacy, I'm guessing you did not get <laughs> the blue one. <laughs> you guys, I have no idea who got what. <laughs> you got a color, that's all I know. <laughs> so this is going to go on the front of our book right here. Okay, so that's the three by four. Now, how do you put the pages on, you guys? Grab your tear and tape. I would highly recommend tear and tape. And what you're gonna do is you're going to put adhesive along the edge. Now, I never worry about if my tear and tape goes slightly over because once I peel that waxy paper, I can just flip it over, okay? Oh, you could use the teal paper. Absolute good, awesome, awesome. Yeah, flip out your colors if you want to, guys. Um, so there's that, and then you're gonna prep these as well with tear and tape. So get all three of your pages here ready to go. And see there I was a little short, so I'm gonna definitely fill that little gap right there. Put one right here. And then you gotta do your last one. I have no idea what that is. It looks like white embossing powder, and that would make sense because I think I did that not too long ago. Okay, so put that one here and then flip this one here. Okay, so now that the tear and tape is on, you don't need any more, so go ahead and get happy with peeling this off. Like I had mentioned, you're just gonna take and roll anything over that is hanging over the edge. 
and pick all six of them off. Just get them all ready so that you don't have to take time in between. Get them all picked. And again, flip those edges over. Otherwise, you're going to have hanging tape. <laughs> Instead of a hanging chad, you're going to have hanging tape. And flip that over. Otherwise, you have glue hanging off the ends. Okay, and one little more piece here. Uh, get off of there, little guy. There we go. Okay, so now you have your pages. So the easiest way that I found to do this, again, you guys always know that my way is not always the right way. <laughs> of whatever you find to do is the whatever is easiest for you. But because I have this purple or my colored paper in here as a guide, what I'm going to do is just set this in here. I'm not squishing. I'm not putting anything on here quite yet. I'm not pushing down. What I'm going to do is line up my score line with my purple. I'm using it as a guide. So right now you guys can see you don't see any black. If I had it down here, you see purple. But I'm lining my score line up with the edge of my purple and I'm centering it left to right. Hi Becky Harding. And then what happens is once you have it where you want it, I just set this. It's hard to see it because it's black on black, but I set this right down onto it. And then what you can do is set that sheet right there. So basically you've just attached this page to this little mountain here. Okay, so you have two more to do then and you've prepped them, they're ready to go. So now you're gonna line this one up and I'm gonna make sure that my score lines are flush. I'm feeling them with my fingers. I'm making sure that my right side is flush, my left side is flush, my top is flush. And so that means that my pages are gonna be the same length. And then I'm gonna set this down. You guys can see the tear and tape is here. You've got one little mountain here. You're gonna push that mountain into the page and then this page is gonna come down. Okay, and now you should have two pages that are the same, like they come out the same distance and they're kind of in line with that purple back here okay so now the last one same thing <laughs> you guys I'm covering up all that white I did that <laughs> put it to the inside so flush on the right side flush on the left side flush on my score lines yes Penny this is a great gift <laughs> and then once you've got this ready just flip that down and then flip this page down and now you've basically got all of your sheets attached Okay, so tear and tape is the best thing. If you guys use liquid glue for this, it's gonna take you forever to get it to, well, not forever, but it's gonna take longer and it's gonna be more wiggly. Where tear and tape, it kind of like adheres right away. Tear and tape's perfect for this kind of a project. Okay, so we have now our six sheets, you guys. So we got one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Lots of purple love right here, guys. Oh my goodness. Do you love seeing all this purple in the screen? It's awesome. So, you know me and my gluing. I'm going to open up my glue bottle. I'm going to do all of them at once. And do that. <laughs> okay. So now, though, be super careful that you don't <laughs> hit anything, right? So, now you're going to glue your pages into your book. And you should have about an eighth inch margin on each side. So there's one, there's two, here's three. Okay, there we go. We're gonna do this one. Well, I'm gonna do this one. He's, he's drying up already. So we're gonna do this one right here. And then this one, so you have six pages. Now, if you feel like you don't want your colored cardstock in the inside and you'd rather do a different color, guys, it's yours. <laughs> do whatever you want to it. I just can't wait to see what you make them into. If you're gonna decorate them with pictures or mementos. So there, you could add a pic, you know, anything you want, you guys. So you got your pages, now the front. Oh, I, so right now it makes a difference. Right there, it didn't matter how I put everything together because it works. But this is the front. And what you have left here are the two banners, two buttons, the circly and the other circle. And then I'm going to stamp Enjoy the Moment on mine. So you guys, 
check it over. The soft, smooth side is the top. The rougher edge goes to the bottom. Practice your stamping before you go to your circle. Just make sure you're happy with how it stamps. If you have a different sentiment that you'd prefer, it's really whatever you want. Okay, remember when we talked about this? <laughs> Let your ink marinate. You're right, Anne. Great stocking stuffer. Okay, there's our enjoy the moment, you guys. I said very little stamping tonight. So we've got enjoy the moment, and then that gets glued onto our colored circle. Yeah, you could. Um, Luann, Luann just asked, could you, um, I'm sure you could. It would be weird, a little bit different, but you could definitely try it. What I think, Luann, you're asking is, could you flip this around so that you have two open pages, two open pages, two, so you'd have, like, instead of six, you'd have 12. Um, it, I'm sure you could, yeah. And you could even do more. You could glue. So I don't have any more here, but if you flip this the other way and you could glue out one on this side and glue one on that side, you could glue one here, one here. It just makes it really thick. <laughs> so would be cute done up with the frosted gingerbread stamps. It sure would. Okay. So you guys, this is where the black dimensionals really will come in handy. And so I'm going to put a few of them on the back side of my purple circle. And then also on the back side of my buttons, I'm gonna put a dimensional on the one button and a dimensional on the other button, okay? So that's what I've got going on for the dimensionals. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my banners behind. So I'm gonna eyeball it from the front and I'm thinking, oh, I should hold it like this so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm holding it something like that. And then I'm going to hold this one on this side. Yes, Leslie, you could definitely do it for the brag book. Absolutely. Okay. So now I've, I've already popped up my circle, but my banners need a little bit of adhesive. <clears throat> so we're going to put some liquid glue on them. And then this is gonna go kind of in the center. Like that. Okay. So the button on the front is just put on. Yes, Kathy, it could definitely be a small little recipe book. You betcha. So my little button on the front goes here. Now the button on the back, we mean business with him. So you guys each have about six inches or so of black baker's twine. It comes from the essentials pack. There's crumb cake, gray, white, cream, or vanilla, and white. And so how I would do this, you could, on this book, my string is loose. <laughs> I don't know. It must have come out. <laughs> so what I did on this one is I just went like this and went back and forth to like put it on. It definitely works better with the small, <laughs> the small black dimensionals. So what I would do for the back here is I would take the paper off and then put my linen thread or my baker's twine on here, okay? But now you've kind of eliminated a lot of the stickiness from the dimensional. So that's where I'd go grab a glue dot and put a glue dot right over the top to help with extra stickiness so that that's not gonna come off your book, okay? And then that goes on the back. Now, if you're at home and you have more paper at home that you want to put on the back, you could definitely add more decoration for designer paper. But I'm going to put my button on the back here. Squish it good. I should have tried to make sure that they were lined up, but <laughs> it's close enough. Okay. And then this. Go back. If you use the big black dimensionals, then you're not going to be able to weave around this so easily because you're using the small ones. It allows you to circle around. So Angela, you're going to get to make this on Saturday. You're going to be over. <laughs> All right. 
So you guys, if you have embellishments, I didn't put embellishments in with your kits, but if you have the black matte dots, oh, that's where that little tape went. If you have the black matte dots, you could definitely add some of those or some rhinestones if you wanted. But that's our little book, you guys. So you open it up. You could carry this in your purse. If you have grandchildren and you wanna put their pictures in here, you could carry this along. And then when you meet people that you haven't seen for a little while and they wanted to see your grandkids or your children, however it is, then you can um, show them a little break book. So Stacy said, make the pages into pockets and put a $5 gift card in for a great Christmas present. Yes. So Stacy said to put a pocket here, $5 gift card. Pocket, $5 gift card. $5, yeah. So make these into pockets. How you would do a pocket, cut a piece this big by like this big, this big. Put a little circle, half punch, just glue the bottom, and then it makes it into a little card. So, like, you could, like, flip it right in there. <laughs> so, all right. How do you guys like it? <laughs> Is it good? That's my idea here for you guys. So, yeah, I'm not freezing either, Anne. So, that's awesome. So, you guys, so some of you got purple. Some of you got pink, and some of you got the teal. And it was, everybody got a mixture of different of the designer paper, so. Yep, so there we go. All right. Are we ready to play another game? I have one more prize, woohoo! Okay, we have some penguin paper that needs to be one or there are some sheep dies, guys. So one more winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we had two winners on the last game. So that went a little bit faster then because we had two. So Janet won a sheep set. Judy won the dahlias. And then Brenda won some penguin paper. So you guys, pull out your heart button. Is it working? Oh, but I see all your hearts now. Thanks, Penny. So Marsha likes the brag book. Hilda now loves them. Woohoo! Okay. Mo is going to replicate them. You guys, always, you guys are always welcome to make and duplicate and replicate anything that I do <laughs> and change it or not change it. And anyways, my mom always says that copying is the most sincere form of flattery. And that's exactly the truth. So all good in my hood. <laughs> as long as you're out there creating and crafting, that makes me happy. So, all right, you guys, let's pull those numbers and we are going to play one more game of lucky numbers. And then we will announce some winners uh, and do the drawings, okay? All right. Hi, Diane. All right, so I'll flip the camera down, and we're going to do some numbers. Are you guys ready? Give me some thumbs ups. Give me some hearts. All right, first number. Two. Number two. Bright bobble stamps that. Woohoo! Number two. <laughs> I love me my two. All right, next number, number seven, number seven. Let's get the sheet back out here so I can play along with you guys. All right, so we have here two and seven, two and seven, Brenda Wood. Again, if Brenda or Janet or... Judy Bobo win. I have a consolation prize for you. So, oh, Deb Norman's hot with an ST. All right, number 19, 19. That's the next number on the, on the lucky numbers game. So, all right, number 19. Okay. Next number right here, number 24, The Beauty of Tomorrow, number 24. Oh, Janet's got ST, woohoo, hi, Christina. All right, so we've got two, seven, 19, 24. So I know Susie's got a 24. Tammy Steckling, you should have a 24 as well. All right, I see lots of S's rolling through. Let's do this guy down here. Number 10. Number 10. 
We've got Jeannie Parker. You should have a number 10. Carmen, I know you've got a number 10. All right. Yep. Thanks, Brenda, for saying that for Jeannie. All right. So, number six. Number six. I know Susan Reed has it. Lynn Beasley, Janet Wright. Ooh, Ann Bellinger, you have it as well. Six is a hot number for you guys. Mo, you have it as well. Yeah, Jeannie Parker's got an ST. That's awesome. Good, good, good. All right, we're going to do this one. Number 18, that gorgeous leaves. <laughs> it really liked being called tonight. Sandy Wicklander, you have that one. Deanna Stell, you have number 18. Ann Bellinger, you have 18. Oh, jeez. Janet Wright, you're hot. You got the STA. <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't think we have an STA MP yet, though. So, number 25. Carmen, I know you have this one. Carmen's got 25. I'm trying to see. Oh, Sandy's on the board. Woohoo! Woo All right. Number 25 was the next number here. And you guys ready? I got some S's rolling. Susie's got ST. Leslie's S, okay. We've got Peaceful Deer, number 22. Two, two. Who's got that? Leslie's got it. Deb Norman's got it. Lynn Beasley's got it. 22 is good. It's um, a six. Yep, Judy Bobo. This is the penguin is a number six. Yep, number six. All right, Carmen's got an ST. Okay. Ooh, Lynn Beasley's got STA. STA. I don't think we're close yet, though. We're still at STA, so we'll do this guy. Number three, you guys. Pretty pumpkins. Number three, Leslie, you have that. Stacy Burns has that. Jeannie Parker has that. Jeannie Terwilliger, Tammy Stackling, Susan Reed. Wow, lots of people have that number three. I'm watching them all roll in here. Okay, so I think we're getting caught up here. ST for Sandy, woohoo! Okay, yep, Jeannie Parker's got STA. Let's do this guy. Okay, I know that 15, Carmen, you have 15. You guys, Carmen's are the only numbers I know off the top of my head. <laughs> Hers were easy, to, so easy to remember. Number 15, Carmen has that one. Let's see who else has that. Not many people had 15. If I want to say, Carmen, you might be the only one. <laughs> that was a good number for you if that was the only one that was picked. All right. I'm waiting, 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 seeing if anybody else has that. Susan's got STA. Number 21 is the next number here. 21. So, who's got 21? 20. Ooh, Ann Bellinger, you have to be getting pretty close. I could have sworn I've seen a bunch for you. Jeannie Terwilliger's got 21. Do, 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 21. So, I don't know if Annie, if you don't have it on that. So, Jeannie's got two. Oh, and Ann, you've got ST on that. Okay, so we didn't get it on that one. Okay, so how many numbers we got? Like, oh boy, we're only halfway through our numbers, you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's do this hat one. Okay, oh, our lucky number 13. Judy Bobo, you have that one. Deb Norman. You have 13. Ann Bellinger, you have 13. Tammy Steckling, Jeannie Terwilliger, Sandy Wicklander. You guys like that, like that lucky number 13. Okay, we gotta be getting close. We gotta have an STAM. Yep, Deb Norman's got STAMs, so it's between Deb and Tammy right now with the STAMs. 
Oh man, okay. Ann Bellinger as well. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, so we're down to one number for a few of you guys. Okay, let's mix these up really, really good. And we'll go with that one. Number nine, sweets and treats. Sweets and treats. Okay, let's see who's got the nine. Holy Moses, Ann Bellinger's got nine. I think she might have it then. Susan Reed, Janet Wright, Judy Bobo, Stacy Burns has a nine. Janet Wright's got stamp, okay. Ann Bellinger's, yep, so Ann got it on this one too. Awesome. So, Ann, I'm just looking here. So, Brenda Wood, you would have had a nine. So, Ann and Janet, let's see here. Ann and Janet, I'll go through and mark yours. So, Ann, you had a six and a nine. 13, 18, and 21. So, Ann, yours is a good bingo or good and lucky numbers. Janet, six, nine, six and nine, 13, nope, seven, 19, and 22. Good, good, good. So, with Janet, I think you already won. So, Janet, you're a lucky lady. So, Janet won twice. I don't know. Did I miss anybody else? So, Janet and Anne. So, Anne, you get to pick here between, you get to pick between the penguin paper or if you want the sheep dies. How the penguin paper is, I'd cut it into six by six for you though, so that it is easy to mail in a padded bubble envelope. So, and then, so you can just let me know. Oh, I gotta not mix these all together. Let's flip them over. So that was a good lucky numbers. So Anne, you get to pick between these two things. And then the consolation prize. So Janet won twice tonight. Um, she's lucky. So what I did last night for the person who won the most last night without like dupe, you know, getting an extra prize is they got a they got a class pass from me. So that's what I will do for Janet. You get a free class pass for me. Um, and it's good for the monthly class. It's a $12 value. So you could pick that with the October class or the November class. And Anne, I have you down for the paper now. So yay. Okay, I'm writing your name on a post-it note. And then Janet, I will send a free class pass. Let me get a post-it note on yours. So Janet, you get a free class pass then too because you won twice. All right. So yay. Congratulations to the winner, winner, chicken dinners. Woohoo. Okay. So we're not done yet though. <laughs> you guys, we have the top fans for September. You're very welcome. We have the monthly class, you know, monthly creative challenge, the class card challenge, we have the Be Happy Stampers team challenge that we're going to do it. I forgot to do it at the team meeting on Sunday. I completely forgot. So we'll do it here. And then I want to announce who the winner of the September newsletter drawing. And then we'll also announce. Oh, I have one more thing. So Barb Barco. Um, <laughs> you're very welcome, Susie. Barb Barco. Out of everybody who um, signed up for the celebration celebration event tonight, Barb Barco was my number one customer. Um, and so I have a special present for Barb and then I'll be putting this in the packet in her package for the next time she gets a class for me. So you have the in your woods stamp set in your words <laughs> stamp set coming your way, Barb. So congratulations to you. So I have this for Barb as well. So another stamp set goes out of the hive. Woohoo. Okay. So you guys, what we're going to do is flip down into a random number generator. Um, held and all, no. Oh, yeah. I, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, the bingo is next week. It is the 13th, but it's an in-person bingo only. So I'm only doing it in person in the hive next week, and it is full. So I don't have any room for anybody in person anymore. It is, it's plum full. So, um, so yeah, woohoo. Okay. So sorry about the yes, no, yes, no, but I was trying to... <laughs> trying to answer it in my head. So, okay. So you guys, I'm going to flip the camera down and I've got all these names here. 
and we're gonna do a random number generator like I normally do. So top fans, you guys, I had nine, eight of you reached out to me independently and said that your top fan badge was taken away because damn, Facebook is being stupid, is how I call it. And when they're stupid, I still include you in my drawings, even though your name wasn't automatically generated because of them. So we had 44 people that are in on the top fan drawing for the month of September. So we're gonna do two prizes. So generate number, oh my gosh, 40. Ann Miller, you're the lucky winner of a prize. And number four, Brenda Wood, you're a lucky duck too, girl. I've got something coming for you from the team meeting. So congratulations, Brenda Wood and Ann Miller, top fans. And this was for September, you guys. So people ask, how do you get a top fan badge? You have to comment on posts and videos, you like things, you share things, and the more you help support my Facebook business page, um, uh, Facebook recognizes that and it gives you a top fan badge. And so some people, it's so weird how Facebook will randomly make them disappear or appear. So if you know that you comment, like, and share everything of mine and you don't have a top fan badge, when it comes to be the last day of the month, if you send me a note and say, hey, Facebook's being dumb, um, can you add me to your top fan badge list? I will do it. <laughs> so that's how that works, guys. Okay, so we have here for the monthly creative challenge, I had seven people that participated and the winner, winner, chicken dinner, number one, Vicki Tillett, you submitted a card and so your number was just drawn, congratulations. Class card challenge, I had six people. And the number is six, Deb Norman. Woohoo! You're the lucky winner for the class card challenge. Okay, and then be happy stampers, you guys. So twice a month, I do a challenge in the be happy stampers. And the first month, first it's in the first half of the month and the second half of the month. And the second half of the month, it was, um, oh, it was, what is your favorite Stampin' Up! color? So I took everybody who responded um, and put their name in here. So I have 21 Be Happy Stampers that tell, told me what their favorite Stampin' Up! color is. And the winner is number 13, Wendy Kruger. You are the lucky winner of the Be Happy Stampers Challenge for the last half of September, okay? Uh, not done yet, okay? So every month, you guys, I publish a newsletter. I promise, I do. It's not always on the first, but it's usually by the seventh or the eighth. I try to do it in the first week. If I'm really good on my A game, I have it done by the first, but that doesn't happen all the time. So I always put a secret hidden question in there and I get people answering every single question. And just so you guys know that my secret hidden question usually says something along the lines of, to be entered into the drawing for the secret newsletter question, tell me this. <laughs> so I try to make it like obvious that I've, I'm asking for some information, but sometimes I'll get people answering every single question. And sometimes there's like just random questions of like, did you guys think this or, uh, so just know that it's specifically called out for. Okay, the newsletter can always be found in the newsletter section of the Cards by Christine Facebook page. Ah, uh, no, the Cards by Chris B website. And it's under blog and news and then click on newsletters. And so the secret hitting question winner for the month of September was Luann Johnson. Congratulations to Luann Johnson. She was drawn for the person. So what happens is after you guys read the newsletter and you find the question, you reply to it and say, hey, like I did this or I did that or I liked this or my favorite colors is this. I always have like, you know, a, a, some kind of a random question. So, so Luann Johnson, congratulations. Um, you win a $10 gift certificate. So um, if you actually read the newsletter for October, you saw that she, her, she was already announced as the winner. So it probably wasn't a surprise to some people. <laughs> so, so yeah, so Luann Johnson was the winner of that. And then for Mystery Card Night, you guys, Kathy Jackson and Cindy Hutchings were the two winners for sharing their cards for Mystery Night last month. So Kay Warren won the first Be Happy Stampers cha team challenge. So you guys... I don't know how I keep track of all that, except for I write it. I think I write it all down. So, <laughs> so you guys here, I'm going to flip down. So I printed off a copy of the newsletter. So you guys, I have lots of words on here and it has 
like my event calendar up so you can see what classes, where you can see the host code on my website. I've got upcoming classes. And then it's like, here's the paper pumpkin that's coming up. World card making day, it had who the winners were. Um, but there's a new kit collection that's available. Um, the Santa something. And just information, you guys. It's just helpful information in case your inquiring minds want to know. So, okay, we're not done. <laughs> you think, are we done yet? No, we're not done quite yet. Almost. So I have a few more cards I want to give away. So whenever I do a class, I always give away the cards at a future class. So next week, I'll give away one of those little black books to somebody. And so I have the ink, paper, scissors from the Blackberry Beauty here so that... Um, Oh, Luann didn't see it. See, it wasn't a surprise then. <laughs> so, so Luann, you have a $10 gift certificate towards the purchase of Stampin' Up! product. It's always the, the newsletter question is always a $10 gift certificate towards product. Um, it could be from the clearance rack. It could be from the annual catalog, the mini catalog, and how I do gift certificates like that with remote people. So like Luann doesn't live near me. What happens is after she places her order with the host code, I will send her a rebate check, kind of like what Menards does, where they send you a check in the mail for money. <laughs> to um, Well, Menards is a little different because they actually want you to go back and spend money there. My rebate check is I just send a, a check, a personalized check in the mail to Luann for $10 after she places her order. And that is always good when you win the newsletter. It's always good in the next month. So she has the whole month of October to place the order to get the $10 gift certificate. So woohoo. Okay. All right, you guys, we have the ink, paper, scissors cards from last week, Monday, actually. So we have these four beauties to give away. All right, so winner, winner, chicken dinner. Brrr, drum roll. All right, Mitzi Stanley, you are the lucky winner of this card right here. All right, Mitzi Stanley. All right, brrr. Winner, winner, chicken dinner here is Colleen Anniker. Um, I believe I have your address, girl, so I know where to mail that one. Mitzi, I don't know. Um, winner, winner, doo -doo -doo -doo. I love this brown cinnamon cider card with the espresso. Goes to Mary Ellen Ryan. Mary Ellen, I don't believe I have your address. And last but not least, doo -doo -doo -doo, is Jane Rain or Rain, R-A-A-E-N. I don't think I have your address though either. So congratulate. Oh, the owls. I know Donna. I love this owl. He's so cool. I want him in a stamp, but I'm okay that he's on a stamp and I get the die cut. So yes, Penny, you're working on your Blackberry kit as we speak. That's awesome. Because you got that last week. So you guys, I do have one set left. I have one class left of this Blackberry Beauty. So it was $25 for porch pickup or $30 if mailed. And you would make these four cards. You get the gold shimmer ribbon and you get, oh, what was it? The gold, sh oh, I'm drawing a blank what the embellishments were. It will, because I put in here the gems. It was gems and those and, oh, duh, the Ephraim pack, Ephraim pack. <laughs> Hello, you got the, the pack to do all the extra little pieces. So yes, you guys, I still have one of these left in case anybody thinks that they missed out and they, or they want another one. They want to give one away as a gift. I have one left. So, okay. Ephraim pack. I know, right? <laughs> Lynn Beasley, it's yours. Okay. I'll write a post-it note right now. $30. You can send me a check, Lynn. Okay. And if we have anything else though with classes, I know you want the October monthly class. And so we'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs> this one is $30. And I know you mentioned the October monthly class is um, a fee of 17 or it's free with a $35 order. So we got to talk about what you want to do for that. So, okay. Talk and shop, you guys. All right. Did I miss anything? I always think to myself, what did I forget to do? What did I forget to say? <laughs> I can't remember it all, all the time. But right after I'm done with this live, I'm going to pop on really quick. So you guys are going to see me go live again. And what I plan to do on this one is where I feature all the October cards um, that are coming up. So if Lynn doesn't want it, <laughs> Hilden will take it. Okay. Uh, I'll let you know, Hilden I'll if um, she doesn't take it. Um, so I'm gonna go live really quick, just showcasing all the October cards as a separate video. And then I always 
try to boost that one or share it to my VIPs and then um, give away a half off bundle with that one too. So you guys are going to see me live right away after this too. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Check is in the mail. Awesome. Okay. So Hilda, I think that Lynn took it. So um, in case you guys are wondering, I do have one ink, paper, scissors left from the sweet as a peach. So Hilda, I'll go to my calendar um, for August. I have one sweet as a peach um, ink, paper, scissors left. If you want that, that one could be yours. It's the same cost. It's either, it's $30 mailed. So um, check it out. There were some peach, four peach cards. You got the peach ribbon and you got the sequins. I think the adhesive back sequins. So it was from sometime in August, the ink, paper, scissors for August. Okay, so check that out. I do have one of those left. I also, you guys have ink, paper, scissors left from July, the Timeless Tropical. So I've got other ones that in case you guys are looking for some more at-home stamping, I have some extra classes that I still have in my supply here. So, um, so all right, you guys. Well, that was fun. I hope you guys had a great celebration, celebration event with me. Tried to wait, give away some extra love and just a special way of saying thank you to everybody who supports me. Um, you guys are great. I have great customers. I have a great team. I have everybody. I have a great community of stampers around me. You guys are awesome. So thank you so much for your support. I look forward to the to stamping with you guys always. So look forward to what the future holds. So all right, you guys, lots of sunshine and love and hugs to you. I'll see you guys later. Bye.